Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is April 18th, 2023, and I am here in the last two minutes, approximately, of the All-Star Semi-Final Round 1 out of 3. And I have a substantial lead, but that happened only in the past 20 minutes. Up until then, the other players were hot on my trail and then they eased off a bit possibly giving up possibly kind of disguising their <laughs> uh intentions and gonna kind of creep up on me quickly so i can't let up for two minutes i'm going to play my heart out and try to make it to the next round of competition all right so looks like things are going well now when i play like this first of all you may have noticed I'm using my boosters. I've got tons of boosters. I've never purchased any of them. And so this seems like the best opportunity to use boosters because time is actually my most valuable resource here. I'm not making great moves. I'm not contemplating things. I'm playing instinctually and I'm keeping track of what I need to do and how close I am to doing it and how many of these resources I still have. And worst comes to worst, I'll throw more boosters that way. Or even, uh, you know, some gold bars. I'm actually acquiring gold bars as I go through this, uh, through other events. And so I'm just going to move as quickly as possible. Time is my most valuable resource. I don't want to look behind me because, like, when you're running a race, if you look behind you, you can trip. The, the person who is catching up to you is still catching up to you. And if you take that moment to look behind you, you can run into big trouble. Uh, looking over here, I kind of need red, but anything is going to help. I'm going to go ahead and do this and blow up these guys in here and see if that leads to anything good. Now I can do a color bomb, color bomb combo, which is awesome. I've got to collect all of these, and so that's helping me on my way. I can make moves in here directly to catch these. I've got the, most of that crystal candy out of the way. The time bombs aren't necessarily dangerous to me, but I've got to get over there. So... And I know that it seems unfair in these events for folks who don't have a lot of boosters and they can't just throw them. Well, that's what events are. Not everybody starts out on equal footing and not everybody has, you're not, in life, first of all, you're not guaranteed a level playing field. And even if you have a level playing field, you might not have the same outcome. You might have quicker hands, you might have a sharper brain, you might, uh, you know, s struggle under pressure, you might, so there are benefits and um, problems that we each enjoy in our human condition. And yeah, that's the nature of competition. That's what makes it exciting. I, I can't compete in the Olympics. I would love to be a gymnast. Oh my goodness, but I don't have the natural proclivities, nor did I put in the time. And so I know it's frustrating. I will never be an Olympic gymnast, but uh, that doesn't mean I can't enjoy what other people do. So, um, yeah, so maybe this competition isn't for you and that's okay. Maybe there's something else. And for those of you who aren't interested in going to... London anyway. Uh, you may have other motivations to play like I do. It's because I'm a YouTuber and so I want to show people this experience even though I don't want to go to London. But if you don't have any reason to be playing this game, there are other games that will help you earn more boosters more readily. So don't feel pressure if this just isn't for you. All right, let's see. And of course, if you were trying and you weren't able to make it, I'm so sorry. All right, now look at this. I'm in a situation where I didn't do my job properly. So I'm just going to use some boosters here and help myself out a bit. And I need one more so I can just hit it directly. There we go.
And that's really important to keep staying ahead of the time. If I had failed that, I would have to waste more time to try to get those. Now, I think it's probably been two minutes. Oh my goodness, it's been five minutes. All right, let's see where I am. Let's see what happens. All stars, qualified, claim. This is it, folks. This is the big one. Well, this is part one of three parts of the big big one. Congratulations. You qualified for the next stage. Go to reward. So this, oh, nice. Of course, the ticket is what I'm really looking for. But then I also get two UFOs, which is nice because I think I used a couple of UFOs. Four lolly hammers, which is great because I used way more than four lolly hammers. Four switch hands, four color bombs, four strike draft. Well, I even started with these just as standard. I just kind of tore through them and I'm not too worried. But here I am. I have qualified. The round has ended. Congratulations. You qualified for the next stage. So let me show everyone what that next stage is and remind everyone that it starts in 12 hours. So for me, that is 6 a.m. And I believe it lasts for 24 hours. And so it'll, it'll end at 6 a.m. And so if I'm planning to go through the next round, I have to be prepared to wake up really early and work really hard. All right, I will be right back with the next steps. Okay, so here we are, just finished semi-final round one, and now I am advancing onto the semi-final two. And that is going to take place very soon at 6 a.m. for me, 8 a.m. Eastern time, on April 19th, it's gonna last for 24 hours. So I'm going to need to decide, at, well, first of all, do I want to set my alarm to get up early? Second of all, do I, will I remember to set my alarm to wake up early, even if it's my intention? Third, when my alarm goes off, am I just gonna go, oh no, <laughs> and unplug my phone? Or am I going to actually get up and try to participate? And then, of course, I have to evaluate, am I going to start early or am I going to hold, am I going to hold off and be one of those slackers? I'm probably going to be one of those slackers. That's why I'll need to wake up early because I don't think I'm going to jump in in the beginning. I can't spend 24 hours. Oh my goodness, I am exhausted for the two hours and 20 minutes I just spent. I needed to go to the bathroom and I couldn't because I knew that somebody would overtake me. So yeah, I'm not going to sacrifice my personal well-being for a game that I don't even intend to see through to the end. And some have asked, well, don't you feel guilty taking away a spot from someone who could go to London if you're not planning to go to London? And, and I've really contemplated this and my answer is no. And here's the reason. If I was able to beat them here and all of the really, really, really top players here are getting to here. I've kind of done them a service. If they couldn't beat me, they're not going to do well in the semifinal two or the semifinal three. So it's more of a service they can get on and do other important things in their lives. All right. That's it for me. I'm exhausted. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. If you have also made it, let me know. I would love to celebrate with you. If you did not make it, let me know. I would love to empathize with you. This is not the first All-Stars event that Candy Crush has had. They had one last year, and I did not perform as well as I really expected to. I didn't expect to win at all last year either. But I expected to do better than I did. And so I can really empathize with those of you who are no longer in this. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.